What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. Before I get into it, I just want to say thank you. This community is growing so fast and I appreciate every one of you. So I did a video about a week ago called Sketch to Vector. Uh, I'll have it right here if you haven't checked it out yet. But uh, to my surprise, you guys liked it a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another version of that and uh, we're going to break out the old sketchbook. So this time, instead of using Illustrator for iPad, we're going to take it to the MacBook Pro and we're going to illustrate some vectors. So let's go. All right, guys, let's jump into this illustration. So I feel like such a lazy designer lately. It's, it's a no-brainer that I should get the pen and paper out and start my illustrations off with a good sketch, but I haven't been doing it because I jump straight onto the iPad or I jump straight onto the computer. So going back to my old ways and getting the sketchbook out has just been really nice and really refreshing, and I hope you guys are enjoying watching these sketches turn into vectors. So once I got that sketch all drawn out, I'll go ahead and I'll take it to the computer. I'll just take a picture with my iPhone, uh, put it into Illustrator, drop that opacity, and I start the tracing process. So what I like to do is I like to just get my uh, strokes on there. Uh, I'll fill them in with color, but you'll see me in a little bit. I'll come back through and I'll duplicate the layer. I'll just copy and paste in place. And then I will take the top layer and I will make it transparent with just a stroke. And I'll take the bottom layer with no stroke and just the color. And that way you can see like on the left side right there, I'm able to do some dashes in between. And it also helps with like shading because you can have the stroke on top of the shadow or the highlight. Uh, it just kind of helps. And uh, usually a lot of people like to do this with layers. I was kind of lazy this time. I didn't make different layers. Um, I just have it in one single single layer with things stacked on top and on bottom. So uh, the whole idea behind this was I have a lamp sitting right here. If, you're, if you've been watching my video, you've seen the lamp in there. And if you just started watching this channel, you saw it at the beginning and you'll also see it at the end. But that's the same lamp right here. I was having a hard time figuring out what I wanted to illustrate. And I just kind of did a quick 360 around the room and I was like, that's a good looking lamp. I think I should illustrate it. So that's what we're doing right here. We're just turning that into a nice little illustration for you guys to watch. So a cool thing about using programs like this instead of traditional media like paint and pencil and stuff like that is uh, you can take the stuff, the collateral you've already made and you can duplicate it and it just makes it a lot easier to get the piece and composition put together. So if you see the books I have right here that I'm working on, those are the same books I use. I think I use them three different times in this piece um, and it just makes the process easier. I go ahead and I change some colors, um, some sizes and strokes and stuff like that to make sure it doesn't look too similar to the other ones. But it's a really nice trick and tip to be able to duplicate your objects, um, save time. Time's money, right? So now I'm just going through adding some shadows. Like I said earlier, it makes it so much easier when you can take that shadow and highlight and hide it behind your stroke layer. It, it just makes for a quicker and easier time. So this was actually a really cool trick I did right here. The shelves that I have on the piece right here, they're actually they're supposed to be like in the background so I was able to group them and drop the opacity um, and it gives that illusion that they're not in the foreground they're chilling in the background the depth is a little bit farther so if you're ever doing your own illustrations it's really cool just to be able to take your opacity and drop it down if you're trying to do background elements so I'm pretty much getting the piece to where it's gonna be just adding the final touches the accents the shades um, really enjoying how this came out and I had a lot of fun putting it together. Well, that's the final piece guys. I really like how this came out and I'm really enjoying being able to turn my sketches into vectors. If you guys want this file, I'll put the original and a JPEG in my Discord. Feel free to edit it or just use it as a background. It's yours to play with, it's free, enjoy it. Well guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up for me. If you want to see content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to see content like this now, I have a bunch of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands. Just check out my channel. If you guys want to get a hold of me, I'll have my Discord link below. I got a ton of free assets and it's a good place for us to just chat and talk design. Again, I just want to reiterate how thankful I am for this community and I'm so excited how fast we're growing. Well, until the next one, guys, 
Peace.